en vivo. MCX Investor Protection Fund presents ComQuest. ComQuest 2019, India's first commodities derivatives quiz contest launched by the MCX Investor Protection Fund was a big draw. 290 contestants from 145 teams representing 56 academic institutions from across the country participated in the exciting contest. In the end, the top six teams were invited for the final gold round in Navi Mumbai. Watch the highlights of the event. Catch them young is the best way of training people. And how best do you reach campuses? Uh, people in this age are inquisitive and competitive. And therefore, we thought of Conquest, uh, the first ever commodities competition in terms of a quiz. And we believe it's been a truly outstanding response that we've got from the next gen in reaching out to them and telling them about what commodity derivatives is all about. We in general had interest in financial markets. So uh, we didn't have any experience, prior experience in commodities. So when M6 came up with this event, we were really interested so that we can learn a lot of things about commodities as well. So that's when we applied for the event and it was a great journey till now. I am very interested in quizzing in general and there are a lot of business quizzes available. But then there's not one quiz that's focused entirely on commodities, which is an area I really like. So that is why I decided to participate in ComQuest. We used to track the MCX site very often. So when we saw that the MCX is going to uh, organize this quiz for the very first time, so we uh, thought that we should take part in it. Thank you so much for being here and uh, I dearly invite you all for the MCX IPF ComQuest 2019 and I am very pleased to invite all of you for this first ever national level quiz competition in commodities. This is the first time ever actually that we've seen commodities being talked about across India in so many institutions by so many students at the same time. So before we embark on this final leg of journey, we get our contestants up here. Before that, I would want to invite Mr. Ashok Keshav there. He's trustee at MCX IPF to the podium to give a welcome address to us all. Please. Students are the best persons to really take this uh, issue forward. And that is why first of its kind, this program is organized and I hope that such program which is organized for the first time will be repeated every year and more and more number of people will be able to, students will be able to participate. So far as this investor protection fund trust is concerned, everyone knows that learning this commodity market is important. But how do we learn? So that's why we have involved students and these students of today are going to be the decision makers of tomorrow and that is why this program is organized specially for the benefit of students. Best of luck to the participants. Thank you. Our next guest, Dr. Lakshmi Mohan, who's director and campus at Kargar ITM Business School to address the gathering, say a few words. It's a privilege for ITM to be associated with uh, MCX. Uh, the association has been long enough. Uh, we started with uh, MCX training our faculties on derivatives commodity. Uh, we also now teach this as a subject in our financial market specialization. The association has been also uh, enriched with uh, you know, senior members from MCX who are part of our board of studies. So thanks a lot to MCX for all that they have given us and for this uh, uh, wonderful uh, uh, association as venue partner. I'm sure this is also going to add a lot of wealth to the knowledge that exists at ITM. Thank you so much and have a great day, all of you. But with that, we'll also want uh, Mr. Rugang Farajpe, <laughs> you please do come over for a keynote address here. And this is uh, a great event that AMC has been doing. <laughs> uh, I believe the time for commodities is now. I make this comparison every time I speak at a public platform because I want people to get that message. Uh, one, we just started with our products. We had one product for so many years. We have just been enabled to start options uh, and, and, and we will hopefully get 
index enabled as well. As a regulator, uh, we are with a very young regulator as far as the commodities is concerned because we came under SEBI just three, four years ago. Uh, and most importantly, I think we became part of the mainstream in finance three, four years ago. And last but not the least, uh, the back end. And, and for those of you who don't even remember what a physical share looks like, uh, you know, when we started our careers, that was the biggest thing, you know, counting shares and, and, and stamping the transfer deeds. Uh, today, that's gone. Uh, I, I would expect the same to happen in commodities when the repositories under the WDRA take shape. So I am absolutely confident uh, that the next decade belongs to commodities as an asset class. Uh, and therefore, as they say, catch them young. Uh, we are here with all of you. We want to catch all of you when you are young. Uh, we believe if you understand what commodities is all about, you will spread the word. Uh, and you will actually get the talent that we need into the commodities market. So clearly, that was the idea. I genuinely also think that uh, India is now a very safe market. Uh, you know, we are amongst the top 10 when it comes to investor protection. And that is embodied in, in what we do as well in the commodities market. So great opportunity. Uh, a big, big uh, congratulations to all those who participated. A bigger one to those who've made it today. And all the best. I am eagerly waiting to see how you do in the next few minutes. Thank you again, and have a great day. MCX Investor Protection Fund presents ComQuest. I would now want to announce the first round. I understand you guys do realize that we have three rounds here. The first one is a spice round where we are looking to uh, spice up the excitement that you already have in you right now. This is an image round. We will be showing a picture each to you. Uh, I will come one by one to you. This is how we are going to go and then I'll come back to you again. So for each team, I have one image to show. You have 20 seconds to answer that or quicker and then we can move faster from here. The first question is for Bengaluru. India is a major importer of this commodity. India does import, export a lot of commodities. Uh, often in coffee? Is not the correct answer. It is crude palm oil. The second question for the second team then. Which commodity is often found as an ingredient in this product? Apart from all the chemicals that you see in the toothpaste, what is the important commodity that is part of this? Be menthol. Absolutely correct. Menthol oil is the <laughs> Indian version of Pudina. As we said Delhi, this is a question for you. Identify the plant of one of these commodities. The four options are in front of you. Is it cardamom, black pepper, coriander, or menthol? Black pepper. Absolutely bang on, yes. That is black pepper grown mostly in the southern part of India and is a spice as well. Delhi, this question is for you. Name the commodity which is being extensively produced in the highlighted countries. India, of course, is the biggest importer of these commodities. So your geography needs to be very, very good. Gold. Absolutely, yes. Fifth question, and uh, this is for you, Faridabad. This commodity is significantly produced in which country? So, not just that the, you have to look at the commodity, but the country as well. So, whether is it the USA, Australia, Russia, or Vietnam? I'm sorry, USA. Absolutely correct. The price of the commodity associated with the image has least or no bearing on the price of one of these commodities. Cotton, rubber, cardamom, or crude palm oil? Is it cardamom? Yes, it is. The next image should come on your screens. Identify the popularly traded commodity derivatives on both domestic and global exchanges associated with this image. Crude oil. Absolutely. Bang on. We identify the commodity that is most affected by these worms. Cotton? Absolutely, yes. Next question. Identify the commodity with which photography is historically connected with. Silver? Absolutely, yes. 
So at the end of first round, can we put up the scores? Let's go to the second round, which is a metal round. Metal as in sense of commodities and also to test your metal onto this one. Just to quickly trick you across on what really is going to be on this round. This is a buzzer round. All of you are on for this. I ask the question, you press the buzzer and you can start answering the question. Uh, each carry is 100 points. Wrong answers attract 50 points. So whatever you would have gained in the first round can actually start getting minus here. The team that presses the buzzer first is given the opportunity to give the answer to the question. Are we ready for this? Hand on the buzzers. What is the name of the department within SEBI which oversees the commodity derivative market segment? Those are the four options which will come on your screens. CMD which is Commodity Market Division. CDMRD which is Commodity Derivative Market Regulation Department. CRD which is Commodity Regulatory Department or CDOD which is Commodity Derivatives Oversight Department are the four options that you can choose. Bengaluru, yes. B. B which is? C -M C -D -M -R -D. Absolutely right and that is the opening. <laughs> Second question up for takes for the buzzer round. The regulator for the US Commodity Derivative Market is and your options are SEC which is Security and Exchange Commission. CFTC, Commodity Futures Trading Commission, US FMC, which is US Forward Market Commission, or FSA, which is Financial Services Authority. Uh, it is CFTC. Absolutely right, yes. M to M, or Mark to Market, or Premium Settlement is done on what basis? And the four options are T plus one day basis. Wow. <laughs> That is what we are looking for by the way. India is completely dependent on import for which of these base metals? Wait for the options. <laughs> Zinc, lead, aluminum, nickel. Absolutely right. Very well played. Let's look at the final scores. MCX Investor Protection Fund presents ComQuest. Final round and this is the energy round and we want your energies really coming back into this one. The questions in this round are to be answered with a yes or no or pass if you do not want to uh, dwell too much into it. I have 10 questions for all, each team. You have a minute. We are keeping track of the time there. This is the first question for Bengaluru. Retail investors are allowed to make payments in cash to their brokers. Yes or no? No. American style commodity options are traded on domestic exchanges in India. No. In the bullion segment, Indian exchanges offer futures trading in gold, silver and platinum. No. Commodity transaction tax is levied on buyers of commodity futures. Pass. During a staggered delivery tender period, sellers have the option to give delivery intentions. Yes. The price quote for cotton futures contract is in rupees per quintal. No. The closing price of futures contract. I'm sorry. So out of 10 questions, I've asked you five questions and one of that has been a pass is what I can tell you right. Ranchi, are we ready? Yes. And the first question for you and the time starts now. It is mandatory for the corporation to hedge 100% of its price risk on a commodity derivatives platform. No. Black & Scholes option pricing model is widely used in commodity derivatives market. No. Brent crude oil is a light sweet crude oil from the North Sea. Yes. If the last calendar year of the contract month is a holiday or a Saturday, then the preceding working day becomes the last yes. trading. Exchanges publish daily exchange deliverable stock positions to the public. No. 
counterparty risk is predominant in commodity derivatives market? No. The order book window of the TWS provides information of the best end buy and sell Pass. orders. Arbitrage is a technique for managing price risk at a zero cost. Yes. There were eight questions out of the ten with one pass. Delhi, and the first question for you guys. Only Indian citizens can trade in the Indian commodity derivative market. No. In options trading, a short call position devolves into a short position in the underlying futures contract. Yes. The trading of MCX silver contract is 30 kgs. Yes. All taxes and levies as may become due and payable will be on the account of the seller. No. On expiry date, the delivery order rate is the due date rate of the contract. Yes. Assam is the largest producer of small cardamom. No. There are no daily price limits for agriculture commodity futures. No. Special margins on the exchange are imposed on both buy and sell side of the contract. No. Stop loss order is a time related order. No. Nickel is primarily used in the galvanization of iron. Alright, those are all 10 questions done. There's still a couple of seconds left with most answers on the right side after. First question coming to you. All futures contracts traded on the exchange do not necessarily have an expiry date. No. The underlying for commodity options traded on Indian exchanges is not a physical commodity. No. Crude oil futures on domestic exchanges are settled in US dollars. Yes. Settlement guarantee fund is used to compensate the claim of an investor against the member of an exchange who has defaulted or failed to pay. Yes. An exchange traded agricultural commodity futures contract can have more than one delivery center. Yes. Maharashtra is the largest cotton producing state in India. No. Because of the cost of carry factor, futures prices always trade higher than spot prices. No. Initial margin is always equal to. I'm sorry, we asked you seven questions. Very well answered. First question for you, and our timer starts there. A derivatives contract cannot exist without an underlying. Yes. A commodity options contract traded in India devolves or converts into a futures contract at expiry. Yes. The words sweet and sour refer to the taste of sugar levels in menthol oil. No. All listed corporations have to disclose their commodity risk exposure and hedge related information in their annual reports. Yes. Delivery unit of an exchange traded futures contract is always a multiple of the trading unit. No. Wheat is traded on NYMEX division of CME. Pass. Impact cost is low when liquidity in the contract is low. No. Tender period margins are not applicable for cash settled contracts. Last set of questions and final group there already. First question and the timer begins. Speculators transfer their risk to hedgers. No. Short positions in a put option gives the holder unlimited profit potential. Yes. Industrial demand significantly affects the prices of gold. No. Recently, SEBI approved the participation of mutual funds and portfolio managers in commodity derivatives. Yes. Buyers are given physical delivery at specialized warehouses of sellers. No. NAMEX division of CME Group provides benchmark for WTI or the West Texas Intermediate Crude Prices. Yes. No class level position limits are applicable for gold and silver future contracts. Pass. Sellers are exempted from payment of all types of margins except MTN if goods are Tendered as early pays. Thanks, up. Yes, eight questions done and one pass there. Very well done, and with that, we eagerly await the scores. If you can start putting down on the screen right now. Wow.
1400, that's quite a lead actually and very many congratulations. We have I am Ranchi at 450, NFM Faridabad at 650, IFT Delhi with 450 and that exactly is where we see a tie now between I am Kozikod and Christ University Bengaluru. So these are the two schools, colleges rather, where we have a tie and my next set of questions will be answered only by these two. It's a buzzer round right. and as I ask questions, you Press the buzzer, whoever answers first, we go with that. Which is not a registered entity in commodity derivative markets? Is it the sub broker, trading come clearing member, authorized stock broker, or the authorized person? Not recognized entity in the commodity derivative market. Sub broker? Absolutely correct. And can we have the final scores then? And those are the final ones. We still have Amai Delhi as the first one. We have Faridabad as the second and Bengaluru as the third. Congratulations guys. Thank you so much for coming by. It has been amazing talking to you. Thank you so much for answering those questions. It has been very exciting actually to have you on board. MCX Investor Protection Fund presents ComQuest. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.